All right, here we got Pound Cake versus Eclipse, Ken versus Wolf. I think Eclipse has really been feeling his Wolf today. He should have just gotten off a win off Seraphy, which is really good. And now he's going to see how he can do against Pound Cake. Uh, Pound Cake is a very scary player just because of how explosive he is. He gets so much damage off of everything. And he also has the Snake too if he starts to feel he needs to zone out or play a bit slower. Uh, right now though, just trying to really get into his shield, which is good. Really smart too. Ken has so much shield pressure with Tatsu and stuff like that. It's great. And Shoryu's just going to kill there. Yeah. Wolf's not the heaviest, so it'll kill at that percent. A really smart thing too that uh, Eclipse was doing was jumping over down tilt. It's a bit of like a reactionary thing about beating Ken on shield. It's Ken and Ryu both. Is if they up tilt, you kind of want to roll, and if they down tilt, you want to jump. So very good matchup knowledge there. And honestly, Eclipse is probably a kill percent again, so he needs to be very careful. Is that gonna? Yeah. Oh, Crescent Cake almost took it, but. There we go. Yeah, he can just throw out tilt so well. Now that he has this huge lead, Josh is really, or Eclipse is really forced to approach, so it's very rough. Yeah, it looks like Pound Cake's looking for a lot of drop down aerials as like a combo starter here. So I think Eclipse just kind of needs to space himself well and play smarter on that. Ken's pretty fast though, so you gotta be very precise. Oh, great conversion. Is that gonna... Oh my god. That was less than a minute game. Very, very quick, dominating game by Pound Cake there. I think Eclipse has been telling me today that he wants to play a bit more campy, which I think is probably why he's going back to PS2. He just wants the space. I wonder if he's gonna switch over to Piranha Plant. Yeah, I think Pound Cake was kind of thinking he might do that as well, hence the snake switch. Or he just wants to warm up his snake a bit. But... I think this matchup is very scary for both characters, and that once one has the lead, it can be very hard to deal with it. Especially Snake. Snake's very good at just holding his own space and trying to keep people away. And he also has really good burst options too, so... Right now, the Eclipse is finding some of the hits he needs to rack up a bit of a lead. Down B is also really scary, too, because it does so much shield damage that you're kind of forced to let go of shield at some point, unless you're going to parry it. So, yeah, like, th that was without him even holding shield before. If he had held it while he charged, that would have been a broken shield. So, it's very difficult to play around Piranha Plant Down B. So, very smart usage there. Snake's also really crazy with how quickly he can switch between throwing out an option like Nikita and then just going for like a dash tag right away after you. Also great stock taken by Eclipse there. Very good parry. Pound Cake is actually the parry master of BC, so he really likes to go for all those parries. I think Eclipse is doing a really good job here of holding his lead and that he's trying to not necessarily avoid taking damage so much as just put himself in good positioning and not really worry too much about every transaction just kind of make sure he gets what he needs and living that up till because piranha plants kind of kind of heavy yeah it was very smart awareness there knowing that pound cake had been going in a lot with dash tech before oh and there's another one probably getting a bit antsy Great stock there with the neutral B2. Snakes that like to recover high put themselves in a really bad situation versus projectiles, so. That's a really cool little mix up too off the of down throw. Oh wow, and that that move is so good against Cypher. That's crazy. Alright, I think Pound Cake, he's taken the stock, thankfully. I think he really just needs to get a bit more of a solid game plan in this matchup. Uh, yeah, that would be crazy. But uh, if he can either start to space himself a bit better, really try to avoid putting himself in a disadvantaged situation, 
is kind of what he needs. And I think one more Nair to grab will take it with the up throw, so he needs to be very careful of that. Is that going to be it? Yeah. Piranha Plant having, I think, one of the strongest up throws in the game, probably like top five. So I'm wondering if we're going to see the switch back to Ken here. Probably. His scam is doing very well. Um, Eclipse, I think, is doing a very good job in holding advantage state, though, which I think can work really well against Ken. So that might be why Pound Cake's staying. It's just because he's a bit worried about that. The Shotos have very bad disadvantage. So. Also, I think Battlefield will be a little bit better of a stage for him. I think the platforms give him a really big boost with catching landings with up tilt, as well as C4 has a lot more presence on this stage due to it being slightly smaller, and the platforms kind of helping out a bit more than they do on PS2. I think also with how Pound Cake was trying to get out of disadvantage in the previous game, uh, the platforms will benefit him a lot here. Since they're a bit more centralized, he can use them to kind of get back to neutral a bit more. Throwing out the up smash at ledge, very scary, but Piranha Plant can kind of just stall himself off stage, so very good there. And that was really cool with the grenade there. I'm not sure if he could ever get anything off that, but... Oh, wow, that was actually a really, really cool option. That's like, almost like a spot dodge in a sense, where if they do the one committal option, it's a free stock. But it's also very non-committal for Snake, since he can just jump away. So, that's really cool. Oh, I think he was trying to go for a down throw at a time with the grenade there. But didn't end up working out. Oh, did the... I think the Poison Cloud just threw the grenade towards Snake. Kind of interesting. Oh, and yeah, very smart there, making sure to just recover a little bit lower back to the stage. And yeah, I'm thinking Eclipse is probably just gonna want to go for another down before a shield break, but Pound Cake's staying smart, just running away in Nikita. And if he can get an edge guard, that might be the. Yeah, C4 would have been cool if that worked, but. And Front Plant Up Smash gonna take that first stock. Eclipse needs to be very careful here of a back air or something, but. Okay, just kind of resetting neutral a bit. He knows he's doing well, so. Oh, that would have been very cool if it worked, but. All right, uh, we're back to the game. Uh, up till almost taking it, except he shielded, which is the correct option. And there's Nikita gonna take it. Nikita's so crazy off stage. You can see Eclipse kind of shaking his head at that. But... And yeah, I think uh, overall Pound Cake's just doing a very, very good job this game of just keeping his space, not letting Piranha Plant get too big a lead on him or anything, and just kind of holding his own. It's very good. Wow, that was really good with the Nikita too to kind of stop the neutral B. Overall, his his uh, he's really adapting well to all of Toronto Plants gimmicks. Good back air, though. I'm not going to say nice back air, but very good back air. Oh, and he threw the C4 on him. Wow. That's really good in a high tense situation where you know someone's going to hold shield. At a bit later percents, Snake can get the guaranteed down throw up tilt, but when you know it's not guaranteed, it's very scary, so you just kind of want to hold shield. So that was a really, really smart C4 there. And Pound Cake's going to be up 2-1 now, proving that his snake can take it. Eclipse could go back to Wolf, but honestly, I feel his Piranha Plant could work if he just played a little bit more safe and reserved, so we'll see what he does. Uh, Pound Cake won. Yeah. Awesome. Choose a side. Hello. Point competing. Yeah, I am. Uh, 
Yeah, someone's car is dead and they're boxing on all four sides of the car, apparently. Unfortunate. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, this Kwan comes taking me three hours of sleep. I'm very tired. Oof. Yeah. It's very hard to sleep before a regional, I find, and a lot of people find. We'll be right back. I gotta go. And he's leaving again. But back. back on Yoshi's, I believe. No, this wasn't the game or the stage where Pound Cake took the game with Ken, but. Uh, I think this can be a bit of a valuable stage for Piranha Plant due to the fact that during Battlefield he was getting very outspaced because when he didn't have stage control, Snake could just kind of get away with everything. So this gives Snake a lot less room to run away from his gimmicks. So this is a really good choice here. And down B really scary. Is the up throw going to take it on platform? Surprisingly not, but very cool. Wow, that's C4. But Snake can deal a lot of damage really quickly and kill decently early too, so uh, a little bit scary for Eclipse here, but if he can kind of hold his lead and not lose it, he'll be in a very good situation. Right now though, it looks like Pound Cake's just trying to keep his space, do what he can. And yeah, he's using C4 really smartly there to try to beat down Piranha Plants down me. Good up tilt as well. I think earlier in the set we saw a lot of Nair to grab. So kind of being prepared for that Nair so that he could avoid that. And just up tilting was really smart. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, have to deal with some TO stuff. Um, what do you think about this? They're both pretty high percent. They kill pretty easily, probably. Uh, Piranha up, uh, up throw is probably pretty vital. Because mm. um, they're, they're going to rack up a lot of percentage each other, I think. And yeah, I guess the platform coverage with the trees is pretty important too. Yeah, Pound Cake's been recovering high quite a bit this set with Snake, as snakes tend to do. Yeah. So he's been doing a very good job of just trying to put Patui pressure on him. Mm -hmm. um, I know Piranha Plant, or at least Josh's Piranha Plant, um, tends to do like Nair into Jab, or like Falling Nair into Jab, or like Nair into mm -hmm. Grab, stuff like that. Um, I think for the most part, that does get challenged by Grenade every time. So I just, I don't know, I kind of want to see the, uh, the play around that kind of interaction. Yeah, earlier, uh, Pound Cake did actually up tilt him. Uh, predicting the nair and got the first stock that way so okay. kind of cool to see them play around that mm -hmm. okay. oh nice that was, that was good spacing that was good yeah josh has been doing a very good job of just being aware of space this mm -hmm. game oh and unfortunate sd yeah. but I hate to see that I hate to see it you hate to see it Ooh, oh like that it. was really good that was, that was a roll f tilt yeah uh, i think that slant messes up a lot of multi jabs i think but yeah that's that very awkward here. Nikita, that's gonna hit Plant, yeah. Yeah, wow, Nikita does very good against Plant, because Plant can't really challenge it with a hitbox yeah. too well. You just have to hit it, right? Yeah. Yeah, calling Nair in a jab again. Uh, I don't think uh, Snake could have pulled Nada, uh, Nada at that time, I think. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that between coverage. Oh, that's so much percent. That was like 40. And you can see uh, Pound Cake went for down throw into reading the getup tech twice. So I'm wondering if Eclipse is going to mix that up um, and if he's going to read that. But. As I heard from a great person, uh, sometimes the greatest mix up is no mix up. That is true. That is right. true. See how it goes. Oh. That's so sneaky. Okay, well, yeah, I think that's the point of the poison cloud. I think yeah. that's how Plant was designed. Hide your in, uh, intentions in that. That's what? Yeah, he barely got wow. it in the box. But up tilt's wow. going to take it to like 100. Yeah. Be right back. GG's to both players. Pound Cake taking it 3-1 over Eclipse at Microwave Steak. <laughs> 